Gambia is on a journey to build a stronger economy and business landscape, which requires growth from large corporations to startups, including skilled craft trade businesses. One of the most important aspects of this growth is the continuous training of skilled workers. Ideally, skilled workers in training will gain opportunities for attachment or apprenticeship in their preferred field of work. Everyone gains from this. The trainees gain practical knowledge and stimulation about the courses taught using real operational practice. The employers also gain additional support at the workplace and the country wins by gaining more skilled workers that can respond and fill roles in ongoing industry demands. Skilled and experienced technicians are always in demand. Skilled technicians are most likely to end up as entrepreneurs and hold very steady businesses, employing and training many others as well. You can find Tibet champions serving in the service industry as chefs, cooks, administrators, electricians, plumbers, mechanics, construction and hospitality workers, teachers, media techs, technical engineers in electrics, biomedics, IT, and so much more. It is famously said that movers, shapers, and builders change the world. Then where are our builders? Uh, technical education is not supposed to be for dropouts. Technical education is not supposed to be for the people who cannot actually succeed in society. It's not supposed to be secondary to anything. In fact, if anything, it is supposed to be at the top of our priority list. Narrative with Fokni Chinko here because mostly come almost here Gambia. Gambia am only a drop out. You can be well educated, master degrees, diploma. Those people are even having a workshop, TVEC institution. Yeah, but definitely the field is far, far beyond how the concept that people are having, especially the youths now. It's just the time is passed, like in locally, what they you normally call us, that's Wacha Rahasu, you know. It's Wacha Rahasu Dugal Sapos, you know. From work you come to cl uh, from class you come to work after work you put it inside your pocket and you go home with it. You can be self reliant, you know. In, in I mean I mean with this Tibet, we are subcontracting a lot of money, a lot of money to welders, but who are foreigners, and this could have been done by Gambians, you know. And why not those who are just sitting like that do without doing nothing? They can engage themselves. Within three months, you are able to do the work. Only three months. Trust me, the time that you spend outside there, you spend it in works of three months, you will have that job, that skill. And I can prove that. You know, I mean, we are employing a lot of um, tilers, you know, a lot of painters, a lot of electricians. You know, these are all lucrative, I mean, trades that really you don't need employment. Government cannot employ everybody you know so if you if we train the youths for this welding you know carpentry works and all that because the demand is there construction is moving now you know um it's not it's not you know i mean it's a lucrative it's a lucrative business definitely there is in fact a future in construction there is a future in being a welder man or being a carpenter or being a tile setter there is a future and it doesn't, it, it's not like if you are actually educated, you cannot be a tile setter, you know? Because with Tibet, we have faster and growing development. So because, example, the telephone you are holding, the mobile, uh, the phone you are holding, the camera and the other stuff, they are all from engineers. Are they those people not Tibet? They are also Tibet people. Every month I can, I can double my salary. I can have it twice in the workshop. Yeah, and my apprentice, they know that. I can have it twice or even triple. Yeah, definitely. All the time the pocket is with something. You know, and that is only this job. Only the hard job given to me. 
So, and I believe that, you know, anybody who do, do that, you will get something more than that. If it, because if you see the time that I spend here from school, sometimes I spend only four hours in the workshop, but I'm able to do a lot of things within that four hours. I want the youth to take up Tibet as a serious business. Honestly, if they take it up as a serious business, they're going to make it up. A lot of this construction that we are doing, the school projects, the hospital projects, the market projects, the roads and all this, even these domestic houses, are all done by, most of it are done by foreigners. We really don't want that, you know, as Gambian youths. We want the youth, the Gambian youths to come in. To come in and learn the trade. You know, even these mixer operators you are seeing, these operators, most of them are foreigners. And it will cost more for, for the government if we have to import, you know, skilled people. Because they charge you more. And really, there is, there is good money in this. You know, I mean, you can sustain yourself, you know, you can take care of your family and all that. You know, if you are professionally trained and respect your work. Registration is easy at a Tibet Institute. Make your choice and start your preferred program. Tibet education, along with work experience, can launch you a very successful business and there are many successful Gambias from these fields today. Tibet institutes also provide nationally and in some cases internationally recognized certification indicating that you are qualified and recognized in your field of study. Today, Gambia's largest industries are looking to hire youths with technical skills. Some of these include real estate, construction, hospitality, engineering, teaching, tourism and IT industries, to name a few. The growth of our economy depends on those who can build it and there are many jobs and business opportunities for those who choose this path. If you are looking for a great job, find the appropriate Tibet Institute offering your field of interest and register now. Don't wait to start. To find out everything you need to know about Tibet programs, entry requirements, employment and internship opportunities, visit the Tibet resource website at www.tibetgambia.com or visit any of our social media platforms at Tibet Gambia on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. <laughs>